If you wondered how you could instantly level up your marketing game using data-based insights, but feel overwhelmed when you ever hear about any of the tech being involved, what if I told you it was really easy to dissect your competitor's strategies and scrape your own pages, to code customer intent, and even craft irresistible ad copy, write video scripts, and even make landing pages? all without being a tech wizard or having to figure out anything crazy. Stick around, because in this series, we're unlocking the secrets of my favorite game-changing chat GPT plugins. They'll turn you into a marketing wizard with like no effort. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. There's no gatekeeping, there's full transparency. This is the blueprint. I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna share my screen and go through multiple use cases, literally giving you every single step so that you can copy and paste your way to success. And why aren't other people doing this? I don't know, but we are all about more success and less stress here. So let me just show you all of the things that I'm doing. And today we're gonna break down one of my favorite ChatGBT plugins. And this is only part one of a much bigger series. So this is gonna be fun. Alright everyone, so today we're going to be diving into the ChatGPT plugin called Access Link. This is an incredibly powerful tool that allows you to scan and analyze literally any web page. Imagine being able to pull all of the text content from any web page in seconds without having to manually go and copy and paste anything or use complex web scraping tools that cost who knows how much. That's exactly what Access Link enables you to do. It's a game changer for marketers, and copywriters, and really anybody involved in digital advertising. So today we're gonna cover installation and setup. We're gonna cover the features and capabilities, data extraction and the marketing applications. And then we're gonna get into a couple of use cases with some really fun things towards the end. And quite literally, this isn't just an example. I've done this on my own pages for my own brands and my own products and we're going to use DisruptorSchool.com, the MBA program landing page where I did this as the use case example of how to do everything. So strap in, let's get started. So before we start extracting valuable data, we need to set up access link. Now to do this, all we need to do is go into ChatGPT, make sure in GPT-4, we can go down to plugins. And in the plugins, you're gonna see a bunch of options. Now, I already have it, but if you don't have any plugins, you can come in here, scroll down to the bottom, hit plugin store, and right here you can type in access link. Now you see I already have it installed. Well, I'm gonna uninstall it, and I'm gonna reinstall it again. Boom, as a matter of fact, I'll do that again, just to show you like how fast and easy this is. There's nothing coming to your computer. This is all done purely online. Just to prove my point, I'm gonna do it one more time. Like, this is easy, you can do this. Done, X, now we have it. And if you see in this chat, now we have this option. I'll do a brand new chat here. Keep hitting new chat. It's here, we have this plugin, and now it's one of the many plugins that we'll be covering throughout this whole series and a lot of other things that I use. But there it is, boom, check mark. It's gone, now it's back. That's all we need to get it set up and started. So now that we've got Access Link set up, let's talk about its features. The primary function of this plugin is to fetch text content from any URL that you provide. This means you can extract headlines and subheadlines, body text, CTAs, and even meta descriptions. It's like having x-ray vision for a landing page. You can see what works, what doesn't, and you can get inspiration for your own projects. But remember, please always respect copyright laws and only use this tool for ethical purposes. All right, now let's get to how it works. Data extraction and applications in marketing. All right, so let's get to the meat of it. Data extraction. Once you've input the URL into the ChatGPT prompt, It'll fetch all the text content for you. From here, you can sift the data to find exactly and specifically what you're looking for. 
Are you interested in all the headlines your competitors are using? Well, Access Link can get it for you. Do you want to know what kind of language your competitors are using for their call to actions? Well, Access Link can get it for you. You can use this to do all sorts of types of analysis. And we're going to dive into a lot of what those are and the ones that I like to use right away in just a little bit. You can even download all this stuff to use it with a whole bunch of other tools if you feel like it. Although we're not gonna get into all of that today, you absolutely can. So let's talk about the applications in your marketing because that's what really matters. Oh, we can download all the text, now what? Well, the applications for this are virtually endless, but we're gonna cover two huge use cases today and go to a bonus. Now you can use Access Link to analyze landing pages and see what kind of language is being used and analyze the calls to action and product descriptions. We covered all of that, but that's just scratching the surface. You can also use all this information to develop really powerful assets and have ChatGPT do all the work for you. In fact, today we're gonna write a whole ton of Facebook ads and I'm gonna show you how to build scripts for video content. And at the end of this, I'm even gonna show you how you can scrape other people's work, plus utilize some of your own information to build your own landing pages like I did. So let's get right into the work. Analyzing landing pages for look and feel. So let's start with the first use case, analyzing landing pages. Now this could be for your competitors or for your own. And today what I'm gonna show you is what if we have our own landing pages and we want to start writing better ads for our own brand? Well, Access Link paired with ChatGPT can completely do all the work for us. So, remember I said we're going to copy and paste our way to success? Let's get to the first prompt, which you will find in the description down below. And in fact, this entire conversation from this video, you're going to get a link to this entire conversation so you can copy and paste literally everything and recreate it as I go, just replacing my landing pages with your own. Easy peasy. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to ask ChatGPT. We're going to set the tone because also we're going to do this all in one conversation and that's part of the trick here. So first we're going to ask it, can you read a landing page and then ask me what I would like you to do with that information? That now sets the tone for the rest of the conversation here. Every chat kind of has its own vibe and thread and objectives. So it says, of course. Now let's add in a web page. In this case, we're going to do disruptorschool.com backslash MBA. Awesome. We're going to take a look at the Facebook Ads MBA program landing page on disruptorschool.com. And what Access Link has brought back to us is a wonderful little rundown. And hey, look, this information is correct. It's not nearly as much as we need, but it's a really great start. Now, what I'm going to look for here, because we're going to use all this stuff together later, is I'm really interested in the tone and the timbre and the voice of the ad copy on that page. So let's ask ChatGPT what that is. It's as simple as us saying, what tone, timbre, and voice are they using? And this could absolutely work for anybody's landing page. It doesn't have to be your own. And what I love about it is that ChatGPT is now understanding that you're placing importance on these types of information. And what it comes back with is great things like the timbre quality of the content is all around professional and organized approach. That's absolutely true. The voice is authoritative, which is also 100% true. And there's a lot of other good information in here that we're going to leverage in a little bit. Now, remember, you could use this for a whole bunch of different things. But right now, what we're trying to do is basically train the machine to understand the big ask that we're going to end today's video with. So let's go on to the next step, which is identifying keywords. Now, to identify all the keywords being used, this is the prompt that I use, which is fairly straightforward. It says, give me a detailed keyword report and organize these keywords into categories. Now, we don't necessarily have to say it's gonna happen off that web page because this is happening sequentially. Now, we're getting some really interesting information here around the categories of keywords and what words are being used. And we also understand the tone, the timbre, and the voice around the use of those words, which is going to be incredibly helpful as we get to the payoff here. And I'm gonna take a quick break for a second and then we're gonna get to that. By the way, 
I just want to step in here for a second and say thank you so much for watching the videos. I know you can be literally anywhere on the internet right now. And for that, I want to say thank you. Please go down here and smash the like button, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything else. And with that being said, let's get back to it because we're going to get to the really cool part in like three seconds. <laughs> So we have this keyword report, which by the way, I also know plenty of people will use this for SEO and all sorts of other things. But let's get to the final point here. Building ads and video scripts. So to wrap this all up today, we've got a lot of information, right? We know how the page is being read. We have all the words and the tone, the timbre, the voice. We have all the keywords and the categories. So let's use this to build an entire portfolio of options. For Facebook ads, we're gonna get headline and we're gonna get copy. We're gonna organize those into multiple concepts, there's multiple variations. So when we're building our 322 ads, we have options to run with. And we're gonna use more than just two so we can go into bid IQ and we can evaluate all of those like I showed you how to do in the Alex Hermosi $100 million leads video. So that being said, what is the prompt that we're gonna use? Well, based on the keyword analysis and the layout analysis you gave me, can you write me five sets of Facebook ad copy and headlines based on overcoming the objection of value. Now, I wanna specify what we're trying to do so it's not completely random. And that also lets us understand, okay, we're trying to build our concept around value. And so build that out into five different sets. And when you build me these sets, give me a list of copy in bullet points and in long form, and then a combination of the both and make it sound like that web page that we've been referencing before, using the tone, the timbre, the voice, the style. And this is what it looks like. It's spitting out a whole bunch of stuff. And to be fair, this is really, really useful. And the last thing that I wanna ask it here is just to say, lastly, Give me a name for each set so that I can understand the concept. And that's gonna really help me understand the context to all the information that ChatGPT is giving me with all of this copy. So that's really as easy as it gets. Now, I wanna also say, you could 100% say, instead of bagging me Facebook ads, write me video scripts so I can create videos to promote my content or give scripts to UGC creators if I'm using you know, direct-to-consumer products. Now, what's really interesting is when you pair this information with the plugin that we're gonna address in the next video of this series, you're going to be able to let ChatGPT not only write your landing page, but also construct all of the layout referencing source material so that it sounds like you, but looks and feels like the people that you wanna emulate. And I quite literally did this, and if you wanna see what it looks like, go to disruptorschool.com backslash MBA. I built that landing page in about 30 minutes, referencing five landing pages that I liked, and then had it take a look at my YouTube channel for content, which also, sneak peek, the third plugin we're gonna address is how to do all of that. So, I hope you like this series. If you have any questions, please go down below in the comments section and let me know what they are. And as always, I really appreciate your time and energy. Like I said before, I know you could be anywhere on the internet right now and you chose to be here and that means the world to me. And for that, I wanna say thank you. Your success is what this is all about. I'm trying to give everything away that I possibly can. So again, like and subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things. You're gonna find so many other links for the Facebook Ads MBA program, the newsletter, and Disruptor School, and all sorts of fun stuff. So with that being said, I hope you found this valuable. I know you did, and we got a lot more videos coming. So until next time, I'll see you on the internet. Bye.